everyone, tonight we're going to tie a modern variation on a steelhead classic, the Hobo Spay. Uh, we're using a little bit different technique with the underbody that's kind of fun and something that's useful to know for a lot of other flies. Uh, before we get started, we need a shank. We're using Senyo's 40 millimeter shank in black. You can use all sorts of fun colors for this. You're also going to need some intruder wire. This stuff's really easy to work with and nice and strong. And then you're going to need some hooks. You're going to need some Kamigatsu octopus hooks here. This is a size 6. I already saved myself a little bit of trouble and attached my hook to the wire here. If you're tying a bunch of these, this is the way to do it. You know, if you're tying one or two, no big deal, but this will eat a lot of time. So do these ahead of time and uh, you can really crank them out. Before you do anything though, you're gonna wanna close up the shank in the back here. So I've pre-measured here but I'll let you on a little secret. Number one, you are measuring these so that you can sneak your hook out of here and put a new hook in. Okay, there's enough room there. But I also, since we're using marabou up at the very front, I take my marabou feather and I measure to make sure that we're pretty close to the tips. Okay, good there. So the back of this fly has a little hot butt section and depending on what color you're using you can mix it up but typically it's a different color than the main body of your fly. So on this we're going to use some UV hot ice pink or I think this is UV pink. Uh, I don't have a package to show you because this is how I keep my ice dub all together but I'm just going to grab some of that real quick. And we're just gonna touch dub that to the back. And this doesn't have to be perfect. This is gonna be kind of chunky compared to how we'd usually dub stuff. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a nice ball back there. Okay. Next thing, we need to tie in our hackle. This is Barge Loppin from MFC. Uh, I'm using this, which is a little bit different than the standard fly uses guinea, uh, but if you've ever worked with guinea, you know why I'm using this, because guinea, number one, really tough to work with uh, because it's a really short feather. It also has a very thick stem, which makes it tough when you're wrapping. This, these feathers are awesome. They're really flexible. They have nice webby feathers. We're gonna tie this in by the tip up here. Okay. Three or four wraps. I'm gonna use some Senyo's Aquavale. This is in mixed berries. It's a blue and purple color. I'm gonna tie that in. Great. I'm going to wrap up the shank just to cover those, get them out of the way. All right, at this point, I'm going to come up and close this just to get it out of the way. And sometimes you may have to come in with a pair of pliers to close these up. Be careful not to break your thread. Do that before you wrap your thread on there, honestly. Now, 
create a dubbing loop. And if you haven't done a dubbing loop before, there's a lot of great videos on there. It's real simple, uh, but it works well with the dubbing we're gonna use. This is Ice Dub and Blue Steely. This type of Ice Dub is a really straight fiber. You'll see the UV ones have a much shorter fiber like this pink we used back here. Um, I would definitely recommend learning how to use uh, these dubbing loops. It's a great way to add materials to your fly. And then one of my favorite tools, the Stone Faux Dubbing Loop Twister. Put that in there. Keep these out of the way. Pull some uh, dubbing out of here. Line it up. And you're going to want to go really light with this fly. We have a lot of a lot of stuff we're going to add here. So go real light because that underbody doesn't need much. All right. Great. Spread that out in the loop. Easy. Spin it up. Easy. All right. We can wrap that up. If you have a rotary vise, this is a good time to use it. wrapping up the shank up to my thread. You'll notice I kept my thread right after the eyes closed. Don't need to go any further than that. In fact, we won't even go that far. All right, usually do about three wraps, three wraps, and then snip it, call it good. Usually now I would come in with my Velcro tool, but since we're gonna wrap on top of this, I'm gonna keep that down and Velcro it out afterwards. So, this is a fun technique. This is called the complex twist technique. The guys over at Fly Fish Food have come up with this and uh, shown the world its awesome ways, and I really recommend it. And what we're doing here is we're gonna combine this schloppen and aquaveil using a little gator clip. Clip those together and then I just, oops, I broke the stem there. Sometimes that happens. And we're gonna twist them together. Now while you're twisting, you'll wanna use a brush. I like this ultimate dubbing brush tool, especially the short end up here, to kind of brush it out because it'll all twist. And what's gonna happen is it's wrapping the feather and the flash together in one really durable rope. And you wanna wrap them up till you can't really tell the difference between the feather and the flash till they kinda of are one piece. Pretty cool. Wet your fingers, bring that back, and we're gonna take open wraps because you can you can definitely overdo this. Again, time for a rotary vise. It's looking good. Bring that thread back just behind the eye loop closure. And that's where we're going to tie this off. Okay, five in front. Snip that off. Before you do anything, wrap back on that just to make sure it's really secure. Now you can come in with your Velcro tool and really get it to go, go to work. So with this schloppen in black and white barred, we get the same effect we'd get from a natural guinea. Plus, it's a lot easier to work with, but it's gonna support this marabou wing we're about to put in here and gives a good good under look underbody so 
Grab your marabou. I'm using black here. That's the classic way to go. This is a big pack, one ounce from Hairline. This is almost the only way I buy marabou anymore. You get so much to choose from. It's, it's awesome. This is the way to go, especially if you tie a lot. You're gonna wanna pick a feather with fairly long barbs here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna strip this bottom junk off. You don't want any of that. Okay, we're gonna create a tie-in point at the tip here, simply by folding the tip up and exposing the stem. Pull that on top. Wrap her in there. Really get this in there solid. Trim what's left of the tip off. Don't need that. Grab a hackle plier or you can just grab the stem. And here, I like to wet my fingers and fold this marabou back. Just, it's way easier to work with if it's all folded back there. And now, we're gonna start wrapping up towards our thread. you're not trying to make sure you're not wrapping back on the feather too much okay that's pretty good less is always a little bit more with this so I'm gonna finish up right there Try and capture that without there we go to wrap back on the feather here. Great. And that's most of your fly. Um, make sure you have a good distribution of marabou there. Looks great. The tip length looks good. Now the traditional fly uses this. This stuff is Lady Amherst. It's awesome. Uh, it's not the easiest to find always, and it can be kind of expensive. Um, but what I like to use here is this newer barred flashaboo, blue and black, and a little bit of Mirage Opal. Love this stuff, I put it in almost everything. So let's start with some of this flashaboo, uh, the barred stuff. You only need about two pieces. Trim that. All right. So take one of these, fold it. I like to start up near the eye so I can wrap back on this stuff. All right. Take your next piece, fold it across the thread. Again, wrap back on top of it. And we're going to do the same thing with this Mirage. So trim two pieces here. I always end up with three. Oh well. This gives your fly a horizontal line, breaks up that silhouette just a little bit more. Plus it kind of looks cool, so. All right, and now we're gonna build a little bit of a thread head just to cover everything up. You notice I left a lot of this shank exposed. That's okay, no worries, don't worry about that too much. And then if you got it, uh, grab your whip finish tool. Another trick with flash boo if you wanna keep it out of the way, wet fingers. All right, so. Do one or two whip finishes here. Make sure we're all secure. Great. Trim your thread. Grab your flashaboo. Trim it just about even. I like mine just a little bit longer than the marabou tips. Great. Make sure you got all of it. Sometimes they sneak out. 
No worries there. Comb this guy out a little bit, brush it out just a little bit, make sure we got everything all set. We got one rogue piece of flash glue, that's okay. Last thing is finishing it. You can finish with super glue, finish with head cement. Today I'm gonna use fluorescing fly finish from Loon, this stuff is awesome gives it a little bit of a fluorescent hit up top at the head, which is why I left this exposed. And do one side at a time, that's just easier. And hit that with your light. Okay, 10 seconds, easy. Adjust that a little bit underside okay hit that ten seconds you're done complex twist hobo spay you can take this off and you're ready to fish go catch some steelhead with this thing send me some pictures see you out there guys